Slugger? Still got time to shag a few fly balls before dinner. I don't feel like it today, Dad. Oh, that doesn't sound like the all-star I know. I'm just not in the mood right now, all right? Okay, what's wrong? Nothing. Ronnie, you can't fool this old fool. Now, what's that bug you got in your craw? Well, something kind of happened at school today. You found more head lice? It's not head lice, Dad. The guys were teasing me about something. About the head lice? It's not head lice, Dad. Okay. They called me something. They made fun of my name. Well, now, why would... Oh. Oh, I see. I told him to stop. I said, my name's Gavillanik. Gavillanik. But they wouldn't listen. They just kept calling me... Gorilla Dick. <laughs> How did you know? So this day has finally come. What day? Dad, what do you mean? Son, you're part of a long and proud heritage. <laughs> the latest in the line of men that date back centuries. Men whose lives were defined by those two words that cast to a shadow of disgrace upon their heads. Men who are known as Gorilla Dick. You mean I'm not the first? The first? Oh, my goodness, no. Gorilla Dicks helped build this country. <laughs> they suffered through the Great Depression. They were your great-grandfather, your grandfather. Your uncle? Uncle Harry? Yes. <laughs> uncle Harry. And finally, your dear old dad. Dad? You're a gorilla dick? Still remember my first time. I guess I was just about your age. I was in the school cafeteria. Things seemed rosy then. The future was so bright, life so full of possibility. Then I heard it as I carried my tray of macaroni and cheese to my table. Hey, where are you going, Gorilla Dick? For me, it was the band room. It started as just one laugh, but, and it grew. It grew, and it spread throughout the cafeteria like a cancer. Everybody was chanting and, and, and ridiculing it, a hurtful chant. Everywhere I looked, they were, they were pointing at me and laughing. Even Mr. Gonzalez, the school custodian. He spoke no English, but he learned his first two words that day. Gorilla dick. Well, from then on, I was branded, son. Throughout my formative years, the name followed me. Eventually, various rhymes were composed. Gorilla dick, gorilla dick. Stinks so bad, he makes me sick and the like. It's so unfair, Dad. No. No, Ronnie. One day, I learned none of that mattered. The day my father showed me a photograph. Who's that? That's your great, great, great grandfather. Elmore Gorilla Dick Gavillanek. He was a hero of the Civil War. Commanded hundreds of men. They respected him deeply and would gladly die for him. You see, he didn't run from the name Gorilla Dick. He embraced it. It's part of who he was, just like it's a, it's a part of you and I. So. Feeling any better? A little, I guess. <laughs> That's my boy. Now, how about grabbing that glove? You know, I'm just going to sit and think for a while. My boy's a thinker. OK, champ. Call you for dinner. Part of who I am, huh? Proud to be called. I just don't know. Hello, my name is Ron Gavillanik. One on whom fate played a mean old trick I wish that folks could see There's so much more to me Than a name that sounds a lot like Gorilla Dick <laughs> They could have called me the guy who likes to ski Cause I do they could have said, hey, fan of pottery. But I found out today, they're quite content to say, where's your monkey balls, gorilla dick? <laughs> Go 
and shave your nads, gorilla dick. <laughs>